Westchester County parents are outraged after photos of special needs students using the bathroom at school were allegedly spread on social media. One mother who sat down with CBS2's Jenna DeAngelis is sharing her concerns new tonight. This has been really difficult for my family. Karen Close has been struggling since learning a compromising photo was taken of her son Jonathan, who has autism, and other special needs students while using the restroom at Fox Lane High School. In the photos, the students who took these pictures you know, went in the bathroom, took it as a selfie with the naked butts of the students behind them at the urinals and then posted them. His response to me was, why would someone do this to me? Adding to her frustration, Close says the school didn't immediately inform her. She found out a week after it was reported in March during an unrelated meeting with a teacher. On top of them not notifying us, I think not getting the police involved immediately is another major hole in how this was handled in an administration failure. Parents desperate for answers decided to take matters into their own hands. This is the flyer that was created by the parents. Offering a reward for information, Close says they received several photos which they took right to Bedford police. It took a flyer and a monetary reward for this to come out. To me, it's absolutely despicable, and it speaks to the culture that we have here, and it's not a good one. Outraged parents took their concerns to several recent Bedford Central School District board meetings. My nonverbal son was a victim, and because he couldn't protect himself or ask for help, I am here to be his voice. Transparency has always been problematic, and respect for our special needs community is horribly lacking. The board pledged to hire an independent third party firm to investigate. And to review the district's current policies, procedures, practices, uh, culture, and training to better protect the safety and privacy of all students. The superintendent's office declined a request for comment. In a letter dated March 31st, he noted swift disciplinary action is being taken. They've made adjustments, major adjustments, in the um, acknowledgement when a situation happens and the timing of communication. But parents say they want to see systemic changes to assure this won't happen again, especially to the most vulnerable students. I feel like the system is failing them and something needs to be done to fix that. Bedford police are still investigating the incident. The Westchester District Attorney's Office confirmed its involvement but would not provide more information. In Bedford, Westchester County, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News.